This is a subway station where there's that fatal shooting yesterday for which the gunman is still on the loose. And it is one of the incidents indicative of how subway crime is up 65 percent this year compared with last year. Now, MTA officials tell us a massive percentage of those committing crimes below ground are entering the system by jumping the turnstile. And for that reason, targeting fare evasion is now one of the reasons, one of the things they are looking at to help reduce violent crime underground. What we now have is virtually an invitation to beat the fare. Um, you've probably seen people going in through the slam gates, hopping over the turnstiles. Some of them are so agile, they should be in the Joffrey. What was once an occasional sighting has now become routine. Call it turnstile jumping or fare evasion. The MTA is calling it a criminal act that's costing them more than $500 million just this year. Today, the MTA's chairman called it an epidemic of fare evasion while announcing he's establishing a special panel to figure out how to address fare evasion. It's literally gone up dramatically. We're now at 12.5% on the subways. and. One in three New Yorkers, over 30 percent of bus riders are not paying the fare. We're also seeing a lot of people in the bridges and tunnels who are driving, cheating by obscuring their license plates so that they don't get charged for the tolls. The panel will be made up of a wide range of perspectives, including advocates for equity and social justice. The solutions they'll look at include enforcement and also possibly redesigning entryways and turnstiles. Transit experts point out when others don't pay, law-abiding citizens have to foot the bill. It means more frequent and higher fare increases, and that's not good for anybody. Plus, 99 percent, if not more, of the people committing crimes in the system did not pay their fare. So if we stop them at the turnstile, not only have we improved the MTA's bottom line, but we stopped crime in its tracks. Crimes like this week's fatal shooting inside the subway station at Archer Avenue and Parsons Boulevard, where a 24-year-old was shot and killed at the beginning of the evening rush. While the NYPD says shootings are rare in the system, some New Yorkers are opting out. I am afraid uh, sometimes I have to, to look uh, everywhere. It's a very difficult, difficult time. I see cops around and you could say you feel a little safer, but um, to be 100% safe, it's impossible. Now, there's a new wrinkle here, and you heard the MTA chairman allude to it. Now, during the pandemic, we noticed an uptick on the street of cars with their plates obscured. In the past, it was used to escape enforcement from red light cameras and speeding cameras, while the MTA chairman says it's now being used widely by drivers trying to avoid paying tolls. It is something that is also on the MTA's radar now.